Pretty guys and gals, and welcome back to my channel. I can't believe that August has already come and gone. September's here. Kids are going back to school. The football frenzy's already started. And so, yeah. Anyway, it's time for August favorites. Now, I only have four makeup favorites, but I do have two TV show favorites to talk to you about that we're going to take care of the makeup part first because isn't that why everyone's here? Anywho, I've talked about all of these products that are in my hand in a Makeup Basket Monday at some point in the last couple of months. So, anywho. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm um, going to start with the Stila Custom Color Blush and Self-Adjusting Pink. I got this from Sephora, I think late last year. There's a mirror here. I'm trying not to blind anybody today. But it's a dark pink. It comes off very pretty, though. But it's a buildable color. If you don't want it that bright, you know, you can take a brush and just dot it and then blend it out. But I think that is just a gorgeous, gorgeous pink. Um, don't know if the self-adjusting part works. But, again, I still think it's a gorgeous color. And then my other blush favorite for the month is Max Well Dressed. It's a satin finish blush. This has been the blush that I wear to work every day because I want a more natural blush when I work. And it's just a nice pale pink. It does have a tad bit of sh uh, shimmer to it. Not as intense as some of the other stuff, but it does give a nice glowy look in my opinion very worth the money if you're going to wear it every day, I think. Um, the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Ticket to Brazil is the number three product. And I'm using the wrong finger to swatch. But it looks like that. It's just a nice, darker, slightly dark for my skin. But again, if something is too intense, bronze or uh, blush wise you can just take a little bit and just dab it and blend it out and if you still think it's too dark a piece of toilet tissue or just tissue in general and just dab on it until it looks right is what I usually do then I have the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser um, this I believe was like six or seven dollars at Walmart and I've actually been using this as a primer but it's a clear gel and it's supposed to minimize your pores and stuff like that. But, I mean, it does help with the little ones. It doesn't help so much with the bigger ones. But if you're going to use it as a primer, I don't think there's a problem with it. Just don't use a lot of it. Because it's gonna, then it's going to look weird. <laughs> it's just not going to look right if you use too much of this. So anyway, that's it for the makeup favorites. Um, as far as TV favorites go, we finally, Ed and I finally finished Breaking Bad during the month of August, and we loved the entire series. That was just a very interesting story. We were a little, we were a little late on the Breaking Bad bandwagon, but we really did think it was a great show, and it ended well. And the actors were phenomenal. I don't think they could have picked better people to play those roles. And I don't think the story could have went any other way than it did. But it was just, it was perfect. And we also started watching, since we finished Breaking Bad, we started watching Orange is the New Black. That show is not what I expected at all. It's definitely R-rated. Um, there are moments you want to laugh your butt off because they're being silly, and then there are moments you want to cry. Um, that you know, there's drama that happens, and there's just some bad stuff that in general happens in that show, but. Again, not going to do any spoilers or anything, but we're in the middle of season two, and things are interesting. 
Again, I don't think they could have picked better actors and actresses to play the parts that they have in the move in, in the show. And I think that they did good making that into a TV series. I didn't realize that that was actually based on a book either. Now I'm going to want to go read the book. <laughs> um Anyway, so that's it for my August favorites. Give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe and do all, that, do all that fun stuff if you want to totally make my day. And don't forget to like me or, fo or to like or follow me on the social media stuff like Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, my Facebook, my blog are on here. All the links are in the info bar below and I will see you all next time. Bye pretty guys and gals.